What is up, guys? Evil Duos Arm here today. Today I have for you a video where I'm going to be condensing the Blade and Soul live stream where they just let out all the information on the upcoming patch that is coming out in six days on October 18th. I'm going to try and lower it down for you so you uh, don't have to watch the whole hour long stream and give you all the high points. Um, the link to the full stream will be in the description below if you do want to see it, as well as the link to the text document that they released on their website. But the text document doesn't have all the information in it, so uh, this video's got just about everything you will uh, be seeing changed. Um, just quick note, the images are used under a Creative Commons license um, for the purposes of review. And uh, with that being said, let's get into it. So the first item are, that we're going to cover here is the new weapons, the Arnsu weapon 1 through 6. Uh, the Arnsu weapon 1 through 6 follows the Raven stage of uh, Raven 9. You can upgrade from 1, 2, 3 of the Arnsu um, from 7, 8, 9 of the Raven. Um, it just goes like a similar method of upgrading Baleful to the Raven. Uh, it's just like upgrades like that. Um, you need to get the three items that drop from the boss to uh, upgrade it. So similar to the uh, Raven King Soul, Ferocity, and Energy. Same idea, except there's just three different items for the uh, Hive Queen. Um, so there you see on the screen the stats for this new weapon. So go ahead and pause it if you want to see the stats. There are some crazy bonuses to your character. Next thing up is the uh, new raid. So there's a new raid coming around. Um, it's similar to DKV. It's a lower health boss. You just walk in and kill it. Um, those are the reward chests from the, defeating the raid boss, as well as an upgrade material chest and a uh, rare element, sort of one of those same chests that you get for DKB that has the upgrade materials within it. You can also pick between a raven uh, feather and a hive queen wing. The new event is the Merchant of Wonders. There's a little sample of one of her shops. She appears randomly after the bosses um, from Sogan's Lament on up, including the Shatter's Mask. All those have a chance to spawn her, and when she spawns, you go ahead and buy anything you want off of the menu. The uh, new daily challenges is also going to reward a chest that you see there that's going to drop some raid buffs along with some other upgrade materials. Pause the video if you want to see what's listed on that. Um, next thing is the Skybreak Spire and Temple of Elevium have a new chest that drops when you complete it. Um, it has four to eight of whichever feather or wing along with the costumes. Um, random chance to drop those. This is the new item called a Brilliant Ceiling Charm. So I'm going to try and slow down a little bit to make sure I cover it uh, is in detail as not possible. So basically you buy this item off the Hongmoon store and just purchase with the end coin. Um, this item is used to seal up a soul, so um, the higher level legendary souls can be sealed. And then after you do that, you can trade it to any one of your characters, or you can go on and sell it on the marketplace. So you will be able to uh, completely whale yourself up to max soul simply by purchasing a soul that was sealed on the marketplace. You're going to be super expensive and probably going to break the market, so be ready for it. That's just the little icon that appears up when you seal your soul, and then after you seal your soul, you can go ahead and sell your soul. Um, no pun intended. So this is the new uh, daily chest reward chest. It's a got a. It's like the purple one that we used to have, or we still have right now. Um, the main thing out of that is it has a new item, Solar Energy, which you can see listed at the top. Pause it if you want to see the rest of the stuff on the list there. Solar Energy can be redeemed in the Dragon Express for these items that you see here. So you've got all of the gems you could possibly want in a pentagonal form. Um, EXP charms that are listed there. You can go ahead and get uh, Brilliant Keys I saw as well on the list, as well as your Soul Badge. You can actually purchase your Soul Badges as you saw right there. Um, along with these upgrade materials can be purchased. The soul badges are not fleeting soul badges. They are the actual full-on soul badges, just so you don't get confused. Um, this is the new Celestial Basin Merchant area. And as you can see, they dropped the price of uh, Mystic Badges. So if you haven't bought your Mystic Badge already, hold off on it because it's going to get a price reduction, as well as reduce the cost of just about all of the weapon chests that you'll see in the next image here. Um, you can also buy your Hongmoon Pellet items, except for the Hongmoon Pellet, so all those other little, like deep sea kelps and crap that you need to buy to get the Hongmoon skill. Um, they've added a new upgrade path for Baleful to Seraph 1 through 9. It uses Void Fragments instead of weapons, so uh, less farming for you if you don't want to farm the bosses. They've reduced the cost of PvP currency items, so this is actually really, really interesting. Um, if you didn't already use your Mastery Bundle, now's a good time to do it, since you'll be able to get all of your PvP stuff right off of the one Mastery Bundle purchase. Um, Draken accessories no longer exist. It's always going to drop the Oath Necklace or Oath whatever is being dropped from the boss, so no more upgrading between that first step. Um, also, if you don't... Uh, have the Draken, or if you have your Draken already, don't upgrade it because you will be able to exchange it for the Oath Necklace for only 10 gold or Oath whatever accessory. Um, I wasted a lot of money because of that. So here's another major one I'm going to slow down a little bit on. Um, gems are being changed significantly. So Hongmoon Gems from Pentagon on up can be salvaged to give you an item called a Gem Powder. Um, this Gem Powder can be exchanged for Hexagonal Gems in the Dragon Express at a rate of 4 Gem Powders per Hexagonal Gem. And then they are also used to upgrade uh, Hong Moon gems instead of Mysterious Crystals and Radiant Energies. So four Hong Moon uh, gem powders are going to go ahead and get you a hexagonal gem. And um, so now you might be wondering, well, what the heck happens to Radiant, uh, to radiant Energies as well as Mysterious Crystals that were used pri previously for upgrading gems? Well, now you can exchange Radiant uh, Energies for these Hong Moon powders, these Hong Moon gem powders. And you can exchange Mysterious Crystals for the uh, Heavenly Energy, the event currency that is going on right now. 
um, that will be coming out in the next patch, rather, on October 18th. So you can use that to go ahead and buy Pentagonal Gems, um, since those are listed as a reward, or you could use it to purchase your Soul Badge, which is another awesome um, thing that you can buy from it. So basically, uh, if you wanted to make some money right now, Radiant Energies are going up, skyrocketing in price right now as we speak. They went up by about 8 gold over the last, like, literally half hour. So uh, it's going to keep rising as more people find out about this up until it eventually hits a high point. Also, for uh, about 20 Radiant Energies, you're going to be able to get an entire set of hexagonal gems. So if you want to put the 200 gold in now, it is a super cheap upgrade for how much AP you'll be picking up with that purchase. So anyway, guys, I hope you find that useful. I hope you take something away from it. I hope it saves you uh, 55 minutes of watching the stream to pick out all the important information. Um, if you did like the video, make sure you leave a like and uh, check out some of the other stuff on the channel. i got a lot of great content, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.